Okay, so we're going to have a look at uh, a more complex type of if statement here, and that's the nested if statement. So a nested if statement is where you've got um, more than three categories possibly that you want to determine between. Um, and in the example that we're going to do here, we're going to work out if a student has achieved a low, a mid, or a high score on an exam. So we've got our user input variable as an integer, exactly the same as we did for our simple if statement scenario. Um, we're just going to prompt the user to enter an exam score out of 60 here. And we'll work out the if it's high, medium or low by if the student got between 0 and, and 20, then it's a low score. 21 to 40 is a medium score. And 41 or above would be considered a high score. So we'll start off just by saying if the user input is less than or equal to 20, then they've got a low score. So we'll just say console.writeLine, you have got a low score. Oops. Else, now this is where it gets a bit more tricky because we're going to put another if statement inside of our else. So if we get into this section, we know that they haven't got a low score, so we know they've got between 21 and 60. So we can say if user input is less than or equal to 40, then they've got a medium score. So we'll use again console.writeLine. You have got a medium score. Else, well, if they've not got a low score, they've not got a medium score, then they've got a high score. So console dot right line you have got a high score end if and end if we'll close our our two if statements and a console dot read on the end just so we can see the console it's really useful here that Visual Studio indents our code blocks for us because we can see what's contained within which statement so you can see that if then else there is all contained within the if uh, sorry within the else and end if section of this if statement and you can see that this if statement between this if and else that's clearly contained within the user input less than or equal to 20 section so if i run this and just test it with a few values if i enter 5 it should tell me i've got a low score and we'll test the boundary there let's put 20 in that's still a low score. We'll try 21, should give us medium, and it does. And finally, we'll try 41, which should give us a high score, and it does. So we'll just talk through this code one more time. We should be okay now with this user input as an integer and prompting the user to enter a score and reading that in. We're then saying if the user input is less than or equal to 20, then they've got a low score, so we'll just write out you've got a low score. Else, if they've not got a low score, we need to test again to see if they've got a medium or a high score. So we put another if statement within the else section of this if statement to say we know that it's not greater than, uh, sorry, we know that they've not got a score which is less than 20, so therefore their score must be higher than 20 but lower than possibly lower than 40, which is what we're going to test for. And if it is, then they've got a medium score. And if it's not less than or equal to 20, it's not less than or equal to 40, then it must be a high score. So in our else section, we tell them they've got a high score.